<laughs> hey everybody, it's Chris from Tempton and Hearst and today's happy is we are running a tad bit late, but there's just some things that are out of control. So we're gonna do all shades of blue. Hey, I had a honeydew list to do, so mm -hmm. I don't leave me behind. Anyway, so we're gonna work with all shades of blue today. We're gonna do blue hydrangea, <laughs> imagine that. And let's see. In the trash can. <laughs> In the trash can. We're going to do some tricalium. This is so cool. I've never, it's a new variety apparently, and it's really, really tall and has no foliage, which is even better. Look at this though. We've got sage, fresh sage yes, in. Yes, I love that. We need to dry this and burn this all over the store. <laughs> Bad juju. And we got some tweedia. That's tweedia? Mm hmm. I didn't know that. I don't know what I thought Tweety it was, but that's not what I had envisioned. We're using that this weekend on the on that party. Which one? The Ronald McDonald. Oh, the tables went down too. I have the new layout for us to look at. Okay, cool. And we got some Veronica. We've got some Moonstone Roses, which are these. Of course, we have some Thistle, Blue Thistle. We've got some Fresh Lavender, which is... Not traditional straight, you know, most lavender is real tall and straight. This is a different variety. Then we're going to do a little bit of eucalyptus and a little bit of Dusty Miller. Then we'll, we'll carry over part of this product to the next one. We're going to use the same container. I'm just going to do two different styles of design. So the first one is going to be more of a clutched look. Even more of a surprise, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So how is everybody out there today? Everybody's doing good. Good. Everybody says they're from Indiana, Dallas. Mercy. Nashville, Louisiana, Pennsylvania, Pocahontas, North Carolina, New Jersey, Holland, Canada, Canada, well, hopefully, North Carolina, Missouri, Michigan, Virginia, Georgia. Well, hopefully all of our people were okay on the weather. Mm -hmm. That was kind of bad. So this is kind of our second happy of the day. Do you want to tell them what you did this morning? <laughs> yeah, well... We were fortunate enough to go speak to the Evergreen Garden Club today. It was their first meeting they've had in two years. years. Imagine that. And asking me to come talk to them for the first off the bat. What were they thinking? Anyway, so, what a good time. It was. It was a good time. Saw a lot of my customers there that I've known for years and years and years and years and years. It was, it was a good old meet and greet, wasn't it? That's right. So we're going to actually do our tech And you art. made four happies. Yeah, I did. Four little, well, we just, that's how we normally do it on a garden club talk. <coughs> so, well, that turn okay. I think so. They didn't throw anything at me, so we did good. That's right, they did not. <laughs> Nobody fell asleep. Nobody threw anything. No one, exactly. So there's... So we're going to do a little bit of this Dusty Miller. We have Decatur, Alabama, Fort Worth, North Carolina, New York, Mississippi, North Carolina, awesome. Georgia, Mississippi, Mississippi, Florida, Florida, Arkansas. You know, on that there thing. There are a lot of people there at that thing that say they all watch, too. That's right. I just don't think that probably people locally chime in and say they're in. Well, and or, some of them yeah. said, I watch all the time, but I, I don't never, comment. never comment, yeah. So, you know, speaking of today, you were talking about SHPO and where all we've shipped to. So I was looking at, um, while you were giving your speech, at the email from SHPO. Today they sent that. Oh, did you thing. get one today? Yeah, the updated one. Oh, I, I looked at the one from January. I oh guess my I haven't gosh. seen that one yet. Yep. So what state do you think we shipped the most packages to the last comment sold? Texas. Oh, you read it. You no, know. I didn't. But Texas is, when we do those Google ana analytics of we, Google's watching. We shipped 54 orders to Texas. Well, I'm just saying, but I'm just saying, even when you use your analytics for just who watches on the Facebook lives, mm -hmm. Texas, mm -hmm. huge. So we shipped that many to them. Yep. And we shipped to 29 states, I think it said. Oh, my goodness. Well, it had like over... 200,000 miles or something. Did it? For March. January was 79,800. But remember, miles. we had two, two. We did have two, two comments. Things. Or two, yeah. Two I'll have comments. to go out back and look yeah. at that. That's they crazy. I just looked at that this morning and then. They just said it, actually. So there you go. 
So North on Dakota, this one, Norway. Oh goodness. Ohio, Pennsylvania, yep. Indiana. We have a we had an exchange student from Norway. Did you? Mm -hmm. I forgot you had exchange mm -hmm. students. Her name was Kristen. Yep. We did. We've had one from Norway. We've had one from Germany. And we've had one from Brazil. So that was a great experience for our kids as well as the kids that came over. So that's cool. I had forgotten you did that. Yep. It was the program where they stay the whole year. Like even at Christmas and everything, they don't go back at all? Mm -mm. <gasps> no. I'd be too homesick. No. Nope. You have them for a full year if through um, AFS. Do we ship to Pennsylvania? Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, we have someone watching, and it's 11 p.m. at night in Israel. Oh, my goodness. I think that her name is Miss Nelly. It's she Nelly. does. She watches okay, all the time. Miss Nelly. Yes, she watches all the time. Yep. Nashville, Vicksburg, Illinois. And we got cool, all kinds of people. The cool thing is that when she comments sometimes, she comments in Hebrew, and then you have to go back and do the translation on the comment. Oh, uh, yeah. there we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Aren't you just so oh. snifty? I can't even. But she does that. She, she watches quite a bit. Okay, Miss Linda said, I need to look at 1818 Farm on Instagram. Help me remember. 1818 Farm. Okay. Might be some cool flowers we need to look at. Also, are they growers or are they designers or... What would be their take? We're going to do all this little kind of garden wildflower look here. We have a lot of people saying they're getting bad weather. The storms are rolling in. Yeah. We had that. Well, you know, they, we've had storms the last two nights. Mm -hmm. And they said, when I watched the early morning shows, the news, and then they'll say, did you the weather wake you up? Mm, no. No. But... You know what I bad. like when it rains? I don't have to water the ferns. There you do. So this is fresh sage. Man, it smells just like a turkey. So. Just like a turkey, turkey. he says. <laughs> just like a turkey. Turkey and dressing. Yeah. It's so pretty, too. Miss Penny said today's witness. the first time she's catching us live. Oh, my goodness. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Miss Lisa says, hi, Chris and Christina. Hello. I wonder if she made it to Houston. She's probably working on her party. Yeah, she is probably. Miss Alice, we talked about you today at the garden we club. Did. She's on today. Actually, people knew about Miss Alice. They did. With the, gar the garden they club, the people that watched. They so, knew. what flower are you putting in now? These are the moonstruck, moonstone roses. Kind of an ivory with a green cast. There. So Miss Sandy said she lives close to eighteen eighteen farms. So oh, we're gonna have cool. to look them up. Yeah, absolutely. So is this for the cooler? Or is this for an That's order? for the cooler. I was gonna do carrots, but I didn't realize that you had taken the carrots to the customer. I thought I extra baked carrots. We're gonna do that one Friday. We got to go be. I'll go get the carrots. Because I thought that was kind of. Wait, horrific. Friday? Are we gonna be here Friday? Or tom tomorrow? we're going to Pumble. Tomorrow we're going to Pumble. Right. We hope we will be here Friday. If not, we'll do it there anyway, right? Got a lot going on this weekend. <laughs> My head's starting to be like scrambled eggs of everything going on. I just, yeah. being out of Little Rock too, you know, I just try to like make sure we manage our time the best. Yeah. It's not as easy to just like run down to the state house if we're not done. Mm -mm. Nope. Are you doing any Easter arrangements next week? She we needs are. some ideas for church. We are. Well, they'll be more tabletop than they were, but let's see what we can come up with. Miss Ann Peters is watching Hello, today. Miss Ann. I bet she's painted some cute bunnies. She has. Been, I've seen some of her bunnies on Facebook that she painted. They grow lots of different flowers. They dry a lot and have lots of different things they sell. Oh, fun. Well, cool. So there's our first one. Very, 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 very organic. It's just a lot of textures. Okay. Lots of textures. Lots of textures. Do you know what name or what variety the lavender is? No. Miss Frida would know that. I'll have to ask Miss Frida what variety. 
like I said, it's not the traditional like dried bunches that we get out of Provence. This one is, our, uh, they're actually grown in California and it's kind of more of a whimsical, it has a bigger bud to it too though, see? Let me zoom in. And we actually use this a lot for boutonnieres because we can just pop that right off. But we kind of, what we like to do is actually blend fresh in with the dried so it'll make a bigger Miss Alice impression. said that her neighborhood children love their common salt Easter egg colors. Good. And um, someone else said something. Well, I even thought about, well, next week we're going to do one day, maybe on Monday, we'll do a walk through the store again and show what's left of our Easter. Because we've got all of that new stuff that came in late. But it's here and it's out. Is it Spanish lavender? Maybe. Could be. That sounds about right. Or that sounds like one of the varieties that are out there that in the traditional. Traditional. So I'm not using any foam in this, so this will be a challenge. So don't get too worked up about it till we get done. So when's the next comet sold? Well, we're not sure about that yet. We're not sure about that. Probably but the first of June. it's not because we don't have enough stuff to do it with, huh? Probably the first of June. Is that what we talked about? Well, we may need to figure out. I don't know. We need to talk about that. Because we got lots of stuff in. Right? <laughs> we also got lots of parties going yeah. on. Yeah. Ooh, what's those? These are agapanthus. Agapanthus. So what we're going to do here. Take this piece. Yeah, this would make me go cuckoo crazy. Well, because it's not staying in there straight. But, like I said, you don't get too worked up about it until we finish. I'm just going to use this. Miss Helen is enjoying you, t uh, both of us, from the very warm Coachella Valley in Southern California. Oh, wonderful. Well, oh, thanks for watching. Minute. There you go. Thanks for watching. Miss Bridget is so excited. She finally gets to watch us live from Washington. Oh, fine. She says you always brighten her day. Washington State or Washington District of Columbia? I'm not sure. I bet she'll tell you. I bet she will. Yep. Miss Mary Ann said that there's going to be a road trip to upstairs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> fun doing that talk this morning. Got that to was see fun. lots of people. Lots of customers. I mean, they hadn't had any meetings. I mean, this that was their first meeting in, like I said, two years. So they were a little bit excited to see each other. They were. I was also amazed how much they, those that follow knew, they, they follow. They follow. Yeah, because they Somebody knew, they was knew most it. excited to see Mr. Chris's knife. Huh? She was most excited to see your knife. Oh, yeah. Little does she know it changes daily. Right? I was about to say, I bet you, you don't even have that one now. <laughs> Just a fits on what's, what's loose and what's available, what's right? What's right in front of you. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Like what's yeah, right in exactly, front of you. Exactly, exactly. Oh, we're going to use some French tulips, some a little bit smaller. I, you know what? I don't think that these are actually friends. I think they're just oversized of the other, the traditional tulip. We'll have to double check that with Miss Frida for sure. Someone asked if you could have more silks on the next sale. Uh, well, that's just the thing. We're starting to get all of our silks are now shipping. We just got another confirmation of some stuff coming in. Like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to go back and reblock this. Now that I've got enough stems in there, we're going to straighten that there. We're going to pull that one to there. We're actually going to take this one and recut it real quick. We're going to put this as a block of color down here with a couple more of these. Just like that. And 
we'll spin this around for you. We're going to go back and add. Well, not that one. It just broke. We can always put it down there. Under there. Okay, and then we, oh, we got these leaves too. Getting close. We've got an appointment in how many minutes? Um, four minutes. In four minutes. Okay. We, we got you. We can make five arrangements. We can, yeah, for, for exactly. Let me spin that So, what kind of delphinium are these? Uh, hybrid delphinium. Hybrid delphinium. I hybrid love delphinium. Those. I mean, that's sage, y'all. I wish you had smell -o vision today for sure. Yeah. Smells like we had got it going on. Do you have a plan for an online sale before Mother's Day? No. Well. He's not answering, bud. He's not answering because I'm we're we're trying to figure it out. So what do you think? Beautiful. So these tulips are going to continue to grow, and they'll kind of grow out. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to add one more leaf underneath here to kind of almost make it like it's a focal point. And then I'm going to take this one last stem of Tweedia, and I'm going to come back and take this leftover stilby and add it to this one because it needs a little bit more cream work through it. Kind of break it up a little bit more. So there's that, and we are almost done. Miss Jeannie broke her hand on Monday planting azaleas. Oh my goodness! It sounds like something would happen to me almost. So this is the first one that he's working back on now. I'm just going to add these couple of these loose little stems instead of letting them be out of water we'll put them in here like that miss jamie said your stuff just gets prettier and prettier oh thank you this tweety is really pretty today. it is beautiful it's so pretty you know, you really don't find that color that often, of that powdery. You've got the hydrangea that's that color, but in general, that's about the only two that are really truly that color blue. All right. I think we're good. And thank you all so much for joining us today. We will be back on Friday. Don't know where we'll be. We'll be here either there or we'll be on location, but... We'll be somewhere. We'll be somewhere. So we'll see you Friday. Y'all have a blessed and safe one. Hopefully the weather's not going to be too bad for anybody. And if not, we'll just have to, hopefully we'll get through it all. All right. We'll see you. Thanks for joining us. Bye.